When thinking about some of the worst teams in NFL history, a few teams in the recent past might come to mind. You might think about the 2022 Chicago Bears who went 3-14, or maybe the 2020 New York Jets who went 2-14. But one of the most impressive feats in football is the agonizing winless season. Since the NFL was founded in 1920, there has been a total of 34 winless seasons. However, only 12 of these teams have had seasons of 8 or more games, and since the NFL merged with the AFL in 1966, there have been only 4 winless seasons with only 2 of them happening in a full 16 game season. So given the recent success of the Lions and the Browns, I wanted to investigate what the worst season statistically in the NFL was. One of the easiest ways to look at a team's success is through win and loss records, or win percentage. This is a list of the 25 worst teams in win percentage in the past 25 years, plus the added winless teams since the NFL-AFL merger. Countless teams close to becoming infamous like the Lions or Browns, but even these teams got at least a win or two. But let's take a look to see if these wins were just luck, or if the Lions and Bears teams were actually worse than all these teams. After the Lions had gone 7-9 despite their quarterback John Kitna leading the league in interceptions, they were looking to build off a year in which they started 6-2 but closed out the season going 1-7 and, and missing the playoffs. But the 2008 Lions were something beyond special. In a feat no one had seen before, the Lions managed to lose every single game. Even with Calvin Johnson carrying the offense having just under 1,000 yards more than the second receiver on the Lions, it wasn't enough, as the defense gave up 32 points per game. And just like that, after only three games all season being within a score, the 2008 Lions wrote their names in the history books. Things were different in Cleveland, as the Browns elected to not fire Hugh Jackson after going 1-15. However, even after saying he would jump in Lake Erie if things got worse, unfortunately for him, they did. After managing only one win in the season prior, Hugh Jackson managed to do even worse as he went winless and somehow even worse, their leading receiver was a running back. So now that there's some context to the mediocrity of these teams, let's take a look at the stats. To start off, let's look at the points per game that each of these defenses is giving up. Every team besides the 2006 Raiders is giving up 25 points or more per game, so there's not much to separate these bad teams from each other except for one statistic I like to call PPG+. In baseball, there is a vast amount of statistics, whether it be ERA or OPS. However, there are a few statistics that compare a player's achievements to the average player that season. This is a way to sort of see how much better said player was than the rest of the crop, which is where OPS plus comes in. For example, so far in the 2024 season, Aaron Judge has a 229 OPS plus. This means that he can contribute to a team's offense over twice as much as the average player. So in the context of the worst teams in the NFL, let's adjust this PPG chart into PPG+. This shift in the graph is massive and allows us to clearly see some of the worst defenses in NFL history. Teams like the 2008 Lions and 1976 Bucks stand far and away as the two worst defenses in NFL history, and while the 2017 Browns are regarded as one of the worst teams in history, their defense doesn't even come close to the levels of the 2008 Lions. But these games can't be won by just defense alone. Let's take a look at how all these teams performed offensively compared to the league average. With all these teams having some of the worst seasons in NFL history, it is no surprise that all the teams played well below average in terms of offense. However, a big shock is that the Browns still sit around the middle of the pack in terms of OPPG+. So statistically, there's one team that stands far and away as the worst team in NFL history, the 1976 Bucks. But how would this Bucks team stack up against the Lions or Browns? Luckily for this experiment, there is a great tool made by What If Sports that can sim for any team in the NFL and predict what the outcome would be. So I simmed each matchup 20 times and here were the results. In the inaugural season of the Toilet Bowl, the winner for the title of the worst team in NFL history is the 2008 Detroit Lions. Even with a future Hall of Fame wide receiver in Calvin Johnson, the 2008 Lions only won 9 of their 40 games. As if going 0-16 wasn't bad enough, imagine watching the 1976 Bucks resurrect and drop 25.5 points per game on your team in the series. So conclusively, the 2008 Lions is probably the worst team that will ever exist. Here comes Jared Allen and he's out of bounds. 
poor guy. I don't even know if he realized it. If you like this content, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to watch more, click in the top left corner. There will also be a Discord link in the description.